All right, it is eight in the morning right now. I came down here at, I don't know, like three and started this. Like I had nothing on this put together. So yeah, I just spent five hours just, yeah, I'm freaking tired right now. Uh, <clears throat> so this is just a little mock that I slapped together uh, for this Saturday because I'm going to my first meeting with the Port Lug guys. Um, and I certainly hope that I saw it correctly, but they had a build challenge where you take a, I think they said a 16 by 16 plate and a goat, which is what they used as their example, or any other animal and you just make a little scene with it. And I don't own a goat. I have a couple other animals like a crocodile, some big cats, and a polar bear. But I really wanted to do something with my crab. Because I have my crab here, my hermit crab here. Those are for my D&D &D character. And I was like, hey, I got all this nautical stuff. I was like, why don't I just do this? And, uh, I feel like I went a little overboard with the vegetation, but I don't know. I, I got to the point where like, you know, I can't do much more, whatever. I'm going to stop now. So I got a little guy in there with the map and the one paddle. I don't know where the other one is. I have to, I'd have to dig for it. I used that little piece there to look like sort of the uh, the rope that they would have on there. Put some barnacles on the bottom of it. We have a little cave in the back there. And those stickers are actual Lego stickers. Those are from a, a boat set that I got a long time ago when I was a kid. They're mostly staying on there pretty good. Um, I put a net up here with some chains, so it's sort of like a, a fishing net that got caught. We have the guy up here with the snorkel. Oh, I just realized I need to change out that tank because I've got another one. It's the same one as this guy's got. Because otherwise their bodies are the same. Different faces. I don't have another one of the snorkel piece. I don't, I don't know if I have one. Or not, but I don't know where it is, so I just went with the helmet the guy had. He's got a little camera, we got a shark here. I was originally gonna put the map in that with some of these coins that I have still on their sprues, but it didn't really stay in there, so I just filled it with sand. I like how it came out, it's on an angle, it's just sitting there. Then you got the treasure chest back there that's also just sitting there. Um, a little clam. A little shark up there. Um, that's kind of all the details I packed in there. Uh, everything on the back is all just sort of support to keep these in place. These are only attached, like these two are only attached to this bottom piece by three studs. This one's fully on the base plate, but none of the others are on the base plate for more than, um, I think this one might have two studs. That one's got like one stud, and this is attached to these by two studs, one on there, one over there. And then this attaches to that. So it's kind of locking that in place. So it's, it's kind of solid. I mean, you can see this is wobbly, but you know, it works. Try to fill in stuff. Didn't leave too many gaps. I mean, there's some in there. There's a little back there, but I wanted to try to put this octopus in that, but there just wasn't enough room, and it's it's too wide. I had to have it sideways, and it just didn't look good. Uh, I've got these other sharks, too, but <clears throat> I feel like there's already enough gray in there. So I went with these guys. <coughs> Man, 
I am so tired right now. Anyways, I hope you guys like this. I had fun. Yeah. I gotta go to bed. See you guys.